This is Sherry Bosher reporting for Global Medical News Network. There's new consensus emerging in the world of diabetes about easing up a little bit on the glycemic levels of hospitalized patients. Dr. Mary Korotkowski discussed this at the annual postgraduate course of the American Diabetes Association in San Francisco. It was a consensus statement between the American Diabetes Association and the American Association of Clinical Endocrinologists to try to prevent a return to uncontrolled glucose levels in the hospital, which we know are associated with adverse outcomes, such as infections, mortality, higher length of stay, um, uh, cardiac arrhythmias, and to at least come up with a guideline for physicians who work in the hospital to use in caring for these patients. There's been a lot of variability in what's been published in the past several years. The study that brought this whole issue to attention recently was actually um, promoted a glycemic target of 80 to 110, which is lower than even what we try to aim for in our outpatient populations in many situations. Several subsequent studies since that original study showed that there is a hypoglycemia associated with um, aiming too low for those um, glycemic targets. And we don't really have the tools that help us safely get to such a low target in the hospital. Patients are ill, often they're anemic, often um, particularly patients in critical care units are, may have a low blood pressure or be on medications to maintain pressure. And all these things can affect the accuracy of what a blood glucose reading is when it's done with a, a bedside glucose meter. So we're probably not ready for those targets. The guidelines have been revised to try to aim more for a glucose of 140 to 180, which has been what's achieved in many of the conventionally treated groups in the studies that have been published. Um, and at least there we know we are achieving a reasonable level of glycemic control where the risk for adverse effects associated with high blu blood glucose are minimized but also the risk for a low blood sugar reaction is also minimized with a higher target range. Reporting for the Global Medical News Network, I'm Sherry Bosher.